You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 6th of March. PM Modi accuses TMC of protecting Sandesh Khali accused. Nepal PM to face vote of confidence within 30 days as a live withdraw support. And Bangladeshi struggle with soaring prices of essentials ahead of Ramadan. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday, while calling the women of Sandesh Khali his family, accused the West Bengal's TMC government of shielding the accused in the Sandesh Khali case and said that it is a matter of shame. His statement came shortly after he inaugurated India's first underwater train in Kolkata. PM Modi said, under the rule of TMC, the women have been tortured and the state authorities are hell-bent on saving the perpetrator. Tension rose in Sandesh Khali after hundreds of women on the island came out on the streets against TMC leader Shah Jahan Sheikh, accusing him of sexual abuse and other excesses on them along with his henchmen. In the latest on Wednesday, the Calcutta High Court transferred the investigation to the Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI, saying that the court observes that state police have played hide-and-seek in the matter. पीएमसी सरकार बंगाल की महिलाओं के गुनहगार को बचाने के लिए पूरी शक्ति लगा रही है लेकिन पहले हाई कोर्ट और फिर सुप्रीम कोर्ट से भी राज्य सरकार को चटका लगा है गरीब दलित वंचित आदिवासी परिवार की बहनों बेटियों के साथ टीएमसी के नेता जगह जगह अत्याचार कर रहे हैं India's Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar on Tuesday termed the Manipur situation as tragic and said the entire nation wishes to see normalcy return to the northeastern state. Manipur has witnessed escalating ethnic violence between Maitis and the Kuki community since last year, with 219 casualties reported after a tribal solidarity march in the hill districts protested the Maiti community's demand for scheduled tribe status. Jay Shankar, who is on a four-day visit to South Korea and Japan, mentioned how the open border with Myanmar was one of the issues and how India suspended the earlier unique system where people could travel up to 16 km either way without travel documents. At least 35 people have been killed and dozens injured during the last five days due to heavy rains and snowfall in parts of Pakistan, according to data released by the Disaster Management Authority in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. The extreme weather has hit the northern and western regions, clogging roads and damaging hundreds of houses. An expert said the intense weather spell was rare in the month of March and it was due to climate change to some extent. सारा ये टेलीफोन दरहम बरहा में बिजली दरहम बरहा में आज तक बिजली अभी आया हुआ आता जाता है अभी भी छह दिन बिजली से पानी से हम हर चीज से महरूम रहा क्लाइमेट चेंज की वजह से एक्सट्रीम वेदर इवेंट्स की फ्रीक्वेंसी बढ़ गई है तो अब हमारा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एक तरह से ना वो वल्नरेबल वल्नरेबिलिटी हमारी बहुत बढ़ गई है तो इस इस लिहाज से क्लाइमेट रिजिलियंट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर होगा आपका और अर्ली वार्निंग सिस्टम अच्छा होगा लोगों में अवेयरनेस पैदा होगी तो फिर वो लोग इसके इससे बचाव की तदाबीर कर सकते हैं इन दर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फ्लड्स फ्राम रेकर्ड मानसून रेन्स एंड ग्लेशियल मेल्ट इन पाकिस्तान हैड अफेक्टेड थर्टी थ्री मिलियन पीपल एंड किल्ड ओवर सेवेंटीन हंड्रेड The deluge washed away homes, roads, railways, bridges, livestock and crops in damage estimated at 30 billion US dollars. A day after Nepal's Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dehel ditched the alliance with Nepali Congress, the latter withdrew its support, pushing the PM to undergo vote of confidence within 30 days. Vice President of Nepali Congress Dhanraj Gurung announced the decision and said the party will work as an active opposition. The move by the largest party in parliament has fueled political turmoil in the Himalayan nation as Dehel is now forced by law to seek a trust vote.
The hung parliament has also challenged Dehel in forming a 25-member cabinet which is fueled by excessively overcrowded ministerial enthusiasts from the coalition partners. Sri Lankan President Ranil Vikramasinghe on Wednesday said that the island nation is committed to repaying its debt within the 2027 to 2042 schedule, adding that successful debt restructuring negotiations will bring annual external debt payments down to 4% of GDP. Sri Lanka defaulted on its foreign debt in 2022 after its economy ran into an unprecedented financial crisis. It is gradually recovering since securing a $2.9 billion IMF bailout. Vikramasinghe said that Sri Lanka is, however, likely to stay in default until 2027. The foreign reserves, which stood at less than $20 million in April 2022, have been rebuilt to over $3 billion, he added. And people across Bangladesh are dreading about the hike in prices of food items as Islamic holy month of Ramadan approaches, a report. As the holy month of Ramadan approaches, Residents across Bangladesh are struggling to cope with skyrocketing prices of daily essentials. According to vendors at the Quran Bazaar, one of Dhaka's largest markets, prices of essential goods such as lentils, onions and cooking oil have already shot up 30 to 40 percent higher than in the previous month of February. And some of the higher priced items are those commonly associated with Ramadan, such as dates imported from the Middle East. The country of 170 million people is battling high inflation, spurred by a spike in energy and food prices, along with a weakening currency which has caused a headache for PM Sheikh Hasina's government. The country's annual inflation rate for January 2024 rose to 9.86% from 9.41% in December 2023. <laughs> Ramadan will begin on or around March 10 this year. It may be a month of fasting, but for many Muslims, it also involves a gastronomical feast. Marking an important milestone in India's resolve to augment security infrastructure in the strategically important Indian Ocean region, the Indian Navy on Wednesday commissioned INS Jatayu, a naval base in Lakshadweep's Minikoi Island. The Navy said the base will enhance operational reach and felicitate its operational effort towards anti-piracy and anti-narcotics operations in Western Arabian Sea. It will also augment the Indian Navy's capability as the first responder in the region. The base is situated around 130 kilometers north of Maldives, which under President Mohammad Muizu has gone closer to China. With growing Chinese footprint among the smaller countries in India's backyard, INS Jatayu will provide further teeth to New Delhi. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Goodbye.